All right, so here today I wanted to talk about this as we are going into our festival here. We have the teaser and everything tonight, actually. Uh, if they choose to tease stuff, right? It's been so weird. We used to have five teasers, then we had four teasers, now back to three teasers, which was the original, which hell didn't even have teasers. So we don't know what they're going to do. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That's the entire plan, and uh, we'll find out what they do uh, as of tonight. If there's no teaser, well, they don't give a damn. <laughs> That's genuinely it. Uh, today, though, as you all know, one of the most controversial things probably in the last few months of the game uh, was the fact of how they released Meliodas, how they released that character, and you saw players were very mad with the new system they implemented that being a brand spanking new rarity which changes the ball game and everything for us that being you are ready you remember that it was a brand new rarity and everything and that's what they went through releasing now i'm curious what you think so i'm posing a question before i start this video because i've already asked around my community to see what people would say and a lot of players are expecting this not to be one so to shatter your uh kind of expectations here and just to prep you because most likely this is going to be a you are ready festival it makes the most sense why because they said clearly we don't plan on stopping we, we don't right we'll give you you know items in uh, surplus to help you manage that remember it's it's very awkward out of all logins we could get which we've hadn't we haven't had a login like this in a very long time usually it's gems this time it's ur pendants and essay coins I wonder why. I, I hmm, the Valentine's login is that. Then we go into the Valentine's Hawk event. Where's that Hawk event? Here we go. And most of the rewards are, oh really? Yeah, pendants, essay coins. There was a UR pendant somewhere. Was that the? That was the other event. Uh, the other Valentine's Day event, right? And there's a lot of these new things being everywhere, right? Being essay coins, uh, UR pendants, and pendants because, as the dev note stated. They don't plan on backtracking. So remember that. The most controversial thing in Grand Cross in the last like year was you already, and you saw whatever it is, players were very much kind of screwed over. Remember also, it's gonna be much different this time. You don't have a gift code, right? Last time we had a gift code which we can go and redeem. We had that, it gave 50 SA, uh, was it SSR pendants? Probably this time you might not have one. So, or maybe they at least dumb it down to like 25, who knows? Just keep this in mind that this this festival very much likely will be a You Are Ready festival. And if it isn't, great W, they listen to us, right? I do think that for You Are Ready, they should be only doing that for like big hyped, hyped characters. Um, but they never backtracked. So just remember, this can be a You Are Ready. Just remember that. Hopping over here though, just to show it to you, what is a You Are Ready festival? That means you need 10, 10 SSR, or sorry, UR pendants, 10 UR pendants, which I think equates to 60 uh, SSR pendants, which is a first off, oh my god, that's a lot, and also coming off a collaboration, I am hoping this festival isn't a UR ready festival, um, like they, they might not make it that, let me make that clear, maybe it's like a, you know, dark unit, so because it's a dark unit, it doesn't count as a UR ready festival, that could be a cool little copium, but um, again, just, just to show it to you in the dev notes what they said, right? In 2024, we started by introducing new growth factors for uh, heroes through the New Year's Festival update, aiming to overcome the uh, stagnant hero growth goals. We will focus on developing content that utilizes heroes or various heroes to provide a sense of satisfaction in growth. Also, the first starting grade UR hero. First, the first. It's the first one. More to come, right? Era and Demon King Meliodas has arrived through the New Year's Festival. Many knights will be curious about the addition of the starting grade UR hero. Please uh, consider starting grade UR hero in line with the 2024 keywords growth and change. Because this is the entire point of 2024. It's time for growth and change, players. Gotta remember that. After the uh, level 100 limit break was introduced in the third anniversary and all that, we haven't introduced anything for 18 months. Basically, we want to add some new growth and players have been wanting it, correct? We want to provide motivation and new growth and gameplay through the new system, True Awakening, and the introduction of the new great hero, starting great UR hero. In particular, on the fourth anniversary, we are introduced uh, the LR great thing, remember that? Um, and then here it says, and now we introduce a new level, which is starting great UR hero. That's the entire point. <laughs> So remember that. Um, let's see. Of course, the additional growth system is this, this, this. Uh, just like this. It's opinion is the gameplay situation. We make adjustments within the half of the first year. As new growth factors and content increase, we'll improve the existing parts that become outdated. Correct? So not once they say, whoops, you know what, players? We don't, you don't like it. And not once they say, you know what? Maybe it's like a one-time thing. We do it a few times here and there throughout the year. The whole point of 2024 is growth and change. Those are the two key words they want you to know for 2024. So remember, 
just be ready for it right have the expectation set that you're going to need those pendants prepare this whole point of the video is to tell you to prepare and be ready yes i will make something abundantly clear it's not a complaining video i'm not trying to come off as complaining right because they listened they made sure that all the updates we've had actually following the ur melee festival was an increase in pendants check it i'm not lying do the math yourself you will find out that yes all the events every event since melee's launch till now has been an increase in essay coins has been an increase in pendants yes true awakening exists so that's really it's probably eating up a lot of your essay coins but it does exist right they haven't given more uh we've been getting like five to ten um per like singular event and we have multiple events so we're getting a crap ton of extra essay coins and it is true it is true it's it's a fact you can go in and get fact check me uh via the old events versus the new events um go past or rather before melee and then after melee post melee right and then you'll get an idea that yes they've been increasing it which is very good so remember that in a kind of area that's a very a really good thing but remember for a lot of players who are just picking up during festivals that's kind of how people play this game when a festival is there they play when a festival is gone they kind of just auto grind do a few things a day here just log in for the gems and whatnot um and they don't really like go deep into like the events and stuff when that happens you know <laughs> those players when these festivals release they just don't have potential to do anything i'm hoping that during these your festivals they at least give a code that gives away like 30 pendants so players at least have a chance to get something done but um remember last time it felt okay it was it was tolerable because you had a 50 gem uh or 50 pendant code this time we don't know if we're gonna have that again i also want to make it clear there is no guarantee that this is a you already festival but they made it clear they don't plan on backtracking they don't right and again to max this character out with no dupes right no dupes it costs a lot dude 42 coins and a bunch a bunch of extra um coins that's star coins right so again realize that we're in this area where you better be ready better be farming um we are coming off a collaboration which is like the worst time to have a you already festival so i'm hoping because it's right off a collab they're like you know what let's not screw them you know what i mean but <laughs> probably again you know we'll have to see so be ready for it if it does happen don't have that mentality of ah game sucks this is garbage cannot believe they've done this i i'm done with this game forever it's something that they told us we, we have to be used to it they have made changes they made adjustments they made it better i'll be honest they have made systems better with everything so it is a good thing to kind of you know see change from them but yes just know that if you haven't been playing and doing all the events and everything you probably are in a lackluster amount of you know essay coins and, and ssr pendants also it's off a collab so i'm screwed what the fudge am i gonna do i built all three characters i also recently pulled who did i pulled in this banner um who, who's that character i just pulled damn it what's the name i just pulled somebody else and i just built them it was on the collab banner i didn't have them and i was happy about it right and i built them too so i built four characters in this entire thing and i don't have any coins left i don't have any pens left what the fudge am i gonna do I'm screwed, dude. So remember, that's where I currently stand. Uh, so when I have to showcase Arthur, I'll be here for like two years trying to find SA coins and pendants somewhere in the game. So that's what my um, next few days, my, my horizon looks like. But yeah, that's kind of what happened. Again, let me know what you think about all this stuff here. Do you think it's a you're ready festival? And if it is, do you care? Are you like, you know what? I'm okay with it. It's fine. It has to happen. Uh, or are you kind of dreading the release of one? Um, as I've seen in my comments, they're not really too happy to see one but i'm curious let me know what you think right take care have fun peace out they haven't scrapped it remember that they made it clear they haven't scrapped it the whole point of 2024 is growth and change it's your time to grow and change your opinions on net marble they're they're wanting you to to level up i don't know i don't know peace out